Hey guys and gals, this is Alex Olson with another multifamily minute here in Kansas City. And let's take a look here at what we've got coming on the market here in the last week or so. So very quiet week. Uh, as you can see here on LoopNet, which is our first uh, database, we always check to see what's kind of coming on market, what's new. And we've got a couple of historic Northeast properties here, a fourplex and a fiveplex. I'm not super familiar with uh, either one of these. I will say this area, I mean, we're only looking at a fiveplex here of 375,000, so not my bread and butter. Uh, however, it's five units, 375,000. That's going to be a tough sell in my opinion um, based on the area so I would probably avoid that I've got some other properties that might be a better fit than that but if you're buying a lot in the historic northeast something you could um, take a look at okay that's really it for for uh, the historic or sorry for LoopNet and let's hop over to uh, the MLS anything new here that's five hundred thousand dollars and above that is multifamily apartments, uh, that kind of thing. And so this here, we've got a couple properties that are new and on the list. And I'm going to skip, well, we'll go right into this. So this one here is located in Sugar Creek Independence area. Uh, the closer you get to 435 tends to be less desirable. So this is potentially a D area. Uh, I need to look closer at the cross streets and similar, but it is eight units for seven sixty nine. I think they're all rented out at about six fifty. So I think it's pretty high priced. It might be a situation where the agent's trying to test the market. Um, it's not my favorite style of property either. So I would probably tend to tend to stay away from that unless you're interested in seeing you know doing a a relatively low conservative offer on that. Uh, but there's nothing really about it that becomes my favorite part of a deal. Um, so that really covers that eight plex here in Independence. We also then have a couple of duplexes. And these ones are kind of interesting. Actually, they're very interesting to me, but um, because of the location. So this one here, 575000 It's a large duplex located just south of the Country Club Plaza. It's really considered the plaza close to UMKC, the area's largest school. Um, it's got a lot of great redeeming qualities on it. It's a great location. You should be able to get $2,000 plus in rents with a proper um, setup inside. Uh, could be an interesting spot for somebody who likes just a simple duplex good tenants, great area, downtown, possibly Airbnb, one of the units, depending on how the neighbors feel. Uh, but that's an interesting property to some degree. It's probably not going to pencil well, but I still think it's really interesting. Okay, so then the other new property here is uh, also a duplex, actually. This one here is right next to my office. My office, as you can see, um, you can't see, but where my hand pointer is, is right here. And this one is over here. You guys know I've sold a lot of stuff on Gillum all over Midtown. This property is a duplex at 525. Pretty dang expensive. However, this street here, this Jansen Place uh, street is very desirable, uh, has mansion type qualities. Rare that there's a duplex in this area. Uh, taking a look at the inside photos, it's not immaculate like you would maybe think or expect. Uh, however, again, rents should be similar to that other one in the plaza, $2,000 plus, uh, maybe $2,500 with the right layout, uh, bathroom count, et cetera. So that could be an interesting buy as well for someone, again, who likes the duplex market and uh, really likes nice tenants and nice places. So that's right in the heart of Kansas City next to my office in Midtown. The other one is by the plaza great locations on both of those could be interesting and then the third one up here is independence property that i would stay away from so that's everything new in the last couple of weeks on the market on mls and on loopnet and let's go kind of highlight what we have here on um our i guess customary uh google earth 
here with that shows all of our available deals we have. And you'll see actually now we have quite a few in Johnson County. I've got a 91 unit in Overland Park. I also have a six unit in Overland Park. Those are the two newest deals I have that are at least listed here. We've got a couple other ones we're working on, not quite ready to put out there. These are both excellent opportunities for various reasons. The Overland Park property is 10 million plus uh, deal. It's 91 units, a um, lot of upside there. You actually can add 15 units pretty easily. And it's a good long-term hold. Overland Park's not going anywhere. Matter of fact, it's probably the highest demand sub-market in all of Kansas City. If you can find it for a relatively good price, jump all over it. Uh, again, 91 units plus 15 for 10.5 million. Overland Park 6, this one's pretty special. It's commercial grade property. Uh, hit me up for details. Love to talk to you a little bit more about it. And we can see if there are ways to make a deal on any of these. So uh, exciting times, you know, a lot of in the market, a lot of people are coming to realize that maybe things are overpriced. So there's some resetting expectations from both the buyer and the seller side. Now we just need to get banks on board, uh, which I think we're close to getting there. So that'll do it for the multifamily minute. And this is Alex Olson. And I look forward to hearing from you and all your questions. And we'll talk soon. Thanks.